What's up guys, it's KDK here, welcome to a video, I'm here with a piece Druid by Satyrs. Unfortunately, I don't have any of the cards, or some of them, I don't have Grey Balloon, and even though I have a, a lot of dust, I don't really want to spend it right now. I think essentially it's Oracle of Elune, I will craft that, but I will try it out without Grey Balloon, so maybe if you don't have it, you can also see if the deck has any potential to do something well without it. So I just need to find a replacement, considering we're playing a beast and it's a beast druid. Um, I guess would be that adding a beast uh, wouldn't uh, hurt the deck. So let me just uh, scroll through the collection and try to find the optimal substitute. Um, speaker Kid Chidra. <laughs> Probably not, right? It's not a beast, we don't have any big spells, so I was just kidding. Um, let me just use the uh, beautiful filter function that we have in the best collection UI ever. How about we play Teacher's Pet? Or how about we play Twilight Runner? Or how about we just play One Man a Beast? Seems good. Okay, guys. And Kitty K, we will jump straight through the games and we'll teach you how to play this beautiful deck. Alright, what do we have here? Uh, it's a priest. A just cause is always worth fighting for. I must protect the wild. Bro, Malfair only needs to protect the wild, that's all he cares about. Give all other friendly characters plus one attack this turn. Yeah, 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 So how do you want to face, like... Jeez, um... I really want to keep Nail Fight, I like it a lot, I think one other real infestation is because while um... Mm -hmm. Let me just mulligan the two drop as well. Not entirely sure about it, but it's about it, okay. After you play, so I'm gonna crack that, okay. Okay, sure, we just get a 3-1 I guess, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't, like a 1 3, it's kind of useless, isn't it? Hmm, thanks. <laughs> My plans. Greedy. We probably just play the Oracle next turn, right? We don't really hustle through it, we just go around and hopefully just kill him. Okay, it makes sense. Like, even though we don't have anything to follow up with, I don't think we just play one drop. Hero power. The thing is, uh, if I play the two one drops, my board is going to be very vulnerable to uh, AoE, right? Which is like holy Nova and I'm done. So that's the reason I decided to play a three drop here. We can follow up with this. Uh, if you like play AoE, we can just uh, dump these two cards and we have basically the same board again. That's. Trash. Do we play Korak the Platter Rage on next turn? That's the main question. I restore three out of all characters in my nerd. Okay. Uh, 
Uh, so we can either really bump it down our cost of this guy. Frost Haber Matriarch. Or we can just dump the Valtrager and... I don't really like playing the Park Panther. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. So it's a 7, 9, 10. Oh, this is Little Law. So I just set up Little Law, makes the most sense, okay? That that made my uh, decision way easier. We don't get the Im immediate value from the rush effect, but it's okay. I am a really greedy person, so I wanted to greed it out. Now it's not lethal anymore, right? Or is it? No, if he's going to heal his face, it's not. Not sure how much, how many health does he have now. I don't remember. But 18, 18 is my max, right? If I don't get, yeah, 18 is my max. If I don't get a bra or like, a, you know, a board, board booster. Alright, but considering how long he's looking at the options, my honest guess would be that he doesn't have too many good cards to choose from. And now he's facing the fact that he's most likely going to die next turn, even though he, the only thing he did the whole game was heal up. So, too bad bro. Okay, I didn't see that coming. We definitely do this, right? It's not lethal though, but it's a lot. Hmm, sure makes sense. Why not drop a 2 mana... Uh, 4 or 5? Uh, did I attack with my hero? Uh... I didn't have what you gotta do guys. Nothing I could have done about this. I was like I'm undead, not dead. Um I think that's fine. I win. Well played. You have been oh my golden uh, legendary. All right. Paladin Rajin. Okay, I keep the Druid of the Reef. I don't keep anything else though. This doesn't really make sense playing on turn two. And the Korak is just too slow, I guess. Um. Okay. Too bad I gotta skip turn two. Uh, that's not ideal. I cannot wait to read these. I I really don't want to do it, but we gotta take this trade. Like he, he's, uh, there's like the hand of it all. He can buff it with the uh, with the fucking uh... yeah, yeah. Definitely we got we have to take this trade. Turn two like it sucks to to skip it, but what, what you couldn't do. Mm. I think we just play this. Sure, m m makes a lot of sense to me. We can set up some board for our Wing Commander Malverick. Yeah. Malverick. Uh, yep. Oh no 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 Oh it's tilted also oh I thought it's a taunt 
I think we just take this trade. Like, w why not? There's not really a benefit for me to have it here. Um, maybe I can make him make a bigger board than if you fully can utilize the wing commander. But as I know myself, I'll be just too greedy with it as always. I, I'm exactly that guy. I'm the greed king, basically. Okay. Now, look at this, guys. I will show you how it's freaking done. This guy is not going to play a fucking single library again this game. Let's go. Bam. Bam. The funny thing is that I hype this turn a lot, but in reality it doesn't matter, right? This is someone's a copy whenever... Whenever an opponent casts a spell. But my board is full, so it doesn't really matter. So in the end, it doesn't really matter. Because he played Consecration. And I'm done. I mean, like, what do you want from a deck that plays Consecration, right? Like, how are you supposed to deal with that? Honorable kill, blah blah blah. I think we just do this. Oh, okay, we do this too. Okay. And uh, let's do the one threes now. Um, um, uh, <laughs> okay, this turn was a bit confusing here. I just need some draw though. And there's zero draw. So I just need a good tap decks here. Maybe I went all in uh, for no reason on the f on first board and now I struggle to create some. It's, I had quite a quite a fuel in my hand. Our only our uh, it's a 2 5, right? Wait, what do you feel? This doesn't lose your ability, your hero takes half damage. Are you serious? Half damage? What the hell is this? I think I just have to play this too, dude. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I guess you're supposed to have Wait, is it even random or do you give just okay, random in and okay? Uh, okay, park part <laughs> park partner. Okay, we just we just go phase like uh, <laughs> Like you can destroy the weapon, right? So that, 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 that's a good thing. <laughs> like it's just such a game over for me, like, how am I supposed to go through this? Like, maybe with the Grey Bounded deck I could've, I could've, uh, done that. Really Bro, like, come on, dude, like, you're playing easy deck, dude. Alright, boys, thanks so much for watching, that's going to be it for me. I'm most likely not going to win this game, so if you enjoyed the video, Go ahead and subscribe and like the video and all the other stuff. Like I will just, I will just let him play this turn. It doesn't matter. Let, let me just concede this shit. All right, thank you guys. See ya.